Monoflex OTRS system. For repairs in the sidewall area of radial and bias OTR tyres, range 1400 to 24 through 295 to 29, including wide base skidder or terra tyres. Example tyre used in this video is 26.5 R25. Components. Control panel TRRSD. Heat pad inside OSX2815H. Heat pad outside OSX2215H. Inside airbag OS2517A. Outside airbag OS2117A. Housing OTRS. Utilising over 40 years experience, the Monoflex system has been developed to be hard-wearing, efficient and as simple to use as possible. Location of the worksite should be chosen so that the tyre and Monoflex equipment are close enough to the control panel to prevent strain on either the electrical or air connections. Rotate the tyre so that the repair area is positioned centrally at the bottom. Liberally cover both sides of the heat pads with tyre talc to reduce friction in use. Clear any excess talc from the surface of the pads. Pass the rear strap of the OS2517A over the inner leg of the housing and locate the valve through the hole. Place the rubber and metal washer on the valve stem and screw the valve nut down finger tight to hold in place. Line the support straps with the holes in the metal frame. Place the OSX2815H heat pad with the labels facing up on the face of the OS2517A airbag. The control cable should exit past the top end of the frame and the heat pad handles line up with the support straps. Place the washer on the support screw and from the rear of the metal frame, locate through the hole and the airbag support strap. Fold the handle of the heat pad back on itself and push the hole over the bolt. Secure with a small threaded plate and tighten down with a spanner. Repeat for the other handle. Pass the bottom of the heat pad under the cover strap to secure in place. Turn the frame over and use a spanner to connect the blue air hose to the valve. Loosen the valve nut back up to the air hose after it's been attached to allow free movement of the covers beneath the metal frame. Repeat these steps to attach the outside airbag and heat pad to the outer housing frame. Before use, it is recommended that both the heat pads are preheated to approximately 50 degrees centigrade or 122 degrees Fahrenheit to increase flexibility and aid installation on the tyre. Connect the inner heat pad, OSX2815H, to the left control lead and the outer heat pad, OSX2215H, to the right control lead. To preheat, power up the control panel and hold down the start button on the timer. The displays will illuminate and show the current temperature. Wait for both heat pads to reach between 50 and 70 degrees centigrade. Press and hold the stop button on the timer and disconnect. Take the inside OTRS assembly and position inside the tyre with the heat pad tight up against the sidewall repair area. The frame should be standing vertically and the heat pad and airbag should be checked that they are not folded over. Position the outer assembly so that the bars can be inserted through the receiving tubes. 
Bring the outer section tight up to the sidewall repair on the outside of the tyre and when fully engaged, place the locking pins into the appropriate holes on the frame. Connect both air supply lines, black to the OS2117A on the outside of the tyre and blue to the OS2517A on the inside. With the incoming air tap open, use the black regulator knobs to adjust the pressure on both air gauges to 30 psi. When set correctly, lock off by pushing the regulator knobs down to click. Reconnect the heat pads. Prior to final inflation, check that all leads and electrical connections are securely connected and that nothing is trapped between the system and the tyre. Commence inflation of the airbags by simultaneously pulling down both blue slide valves on the base of the control panel. The airbags will rapidly inflate to operating pressure. When fully inflated, the tyre should appear in its natural shape. If it doesn't, adjust the airbag pressures using the slide valves. To begin the cure process, press down the start button on the timer. When the temperature on both heat pads reaches approximately 120 degrees centigrade, press the set button on the timer and the digits will start flashing. Press the up and down buttons to adjust to the desired time. Press the set button again to set the cure time. The panel will now begin to count down. The temperature will rise to 140 degrees centigrade. When the timer has counted down to zero, the curing cycle is complete and power to the heat pads will be shut down. Disconnect both the inside and outside heat pads. Exhaust air from both airbags by first pulling the slide air valves to the off position and then the quick release couplings can be disconnected from the airbag hoses. When the air has completely exhausted, remove the locking pins and remove the OTRS assembly from the tyre, leaving it ready for the next repair. Points to remember. Always thoroughly dust both sides of the heat pads with talc before use. Do not lift the heat pads by the leads. Ensure heat pad is installed in the correct orientation. Never remove the locking pins until all the air has exhausted. Never mount the heat pad with the handles flat. Do not leave the equipment unattended. The power supply must be disconnected at the end of the working day. A better finish can be achieved by allowing the repair to cool below 100 degrees centigrade before releasing the pressure.